Hi, this is Jens from Ume. Today I want to show you how to assemble and install our pendant lamps, Asteria Mini and Medium. Let's have a look at the content. So, let's begin. As I mentioned in the beginning, we have Asteria Medium and Asteria Mini. The assembly procedure is quite the same, but I will unpack the Asteria Medium and then also walk you through the Asteria Mini later. So let's put the Mini aside and start unboxing the Asteria Medium. So in the box you'll see that there's a set of gloves and then you have the canopy here, the cable and of course the Asteria itself. You'll also find a user guide which we recommend that you uh, carefully walk through along with the video here to make sure you have all the steps included. Let's remove this part here and slowly move out the canopy and take the cord here and see if you can get the entire lamp out. We'll recommend you that you leave this paper on for now, just to prevent you from scratching the products. So next step, take a knife or scissor and just cut this white plastic cable here that holds uh, in the power cord. Next, we need to, uh, to cut away this protective uh, paper. There's a little uh, tape here that you can just carefully cut with a knife as well. Simply move it down and uh, turn. There we go. I would like to mention that it is possible for you to buy a new color of this metal cover and the tip here. And then uh, you need to change it, of course. It looks like this. When it comes in the package, you uh, unbox it and it will be uh, the round plate here and then of course the, the tip. It comes in black, silver and then of course the original brass color. If you need to uh, get some guidance on how to install this uh, metal cover part, uh, you can click in uh, the description. There's a link there that will lead you to that assembly video. Next step is basically to install the canopy. So what you need to do is to remove the top bracket here. You can simply take out these screws here on the side. They're quite loosely put into place, so it's not a big problem to do it with your fingers. There we go. When installing this, you of course need to find the right position, and then you will mark out two holes here, drill, and then add a screw, maybe with a roll plug. That, that depends if it's a wooden ceiling or if it's a made of a more soft material in your ceiling, then of course you would need to have a restrainer for the screw. The next part is to find out where the power should go or come from. If you are installing the lamp directly above a wire, then of course simply run the wire through this hole in the middle on the metal cover, install it, and then of course put the canopy on top of that, and then you're done. But let's say that you have an external wire coming from out here with the power. Then we have this little flap here that you simply bend down, and then add this little rubber grommet that you find here put it here and then let the wire run through here. It's important to note that under no circumstances disconnect this part here with the wire. Some people mistake from time to time when installing this product that you can take this cord and take it out of the product 
but that's a big no-no because if you do that, it will damage the LEDs if, it, if the power doesn't come through here. So it's important to never touch this. This cable should only be connected to this part here and the lamp. So let's say that we have the external power source coming from out here. So this is the cable that comes in with the power. You never use this black cable for the power. Always use an external cable. That also applies when the power comes directly from above. There should always be an extra wire that carries the actual power. You never use this black one. So start by taking the plastic or the rubber grommet here, run it through your external power source, and then just let it hang for now. We'll place it here later because it can move a bit. Then we take the white electrical terminal here and take a flathead screwdriver and try to open this box by moving, moving the screwdriver to the middle and uh, tip it a bit. Then you'll see that it opens up like so. Then this part folds out. We'll add that to our wire. This is uh, solely to protect the connection here. Put it on so this end with the groove here goes up this way. Next, of course, match the blue wire with the blue and the brown with the brown. Start by unscrewing these two screws in the uh, terminal block here. And then if you're very steady with your hands, you can actually get both cables in at once. There we go. And then simply tighten the screws so it makes a solid connection with the wire and the terminal. There we go. Next step is to slowly move the rubber tube down here to, to match the carvings here so it sits tight. Once that's done, simply move the cover over and press down so it clicks. And now you have a safe and solid connection here. Then take the rubber grommet here, move it down the wire, and slowly insert it over the entry point here. There we go. So that was for the external power coming from outside the lamp and not from the top. After this, of course, your bracket would uh, be attached already. Simply move it up and add the two side screws with a flathead screwdriver, and then you're done. If you need to adjust the height, then we will use the black cable for that. So in order to height adjust the cord here, simply take this plastic top and screw it a bit out. Not all the way, but just enough so it's a bit loose, so the wire becomes movable. Then you can actually pull the wire in and out, like so, until your desired length or height is achieved. When you're done with all of this, you need to retight this top part here. And after that, when you're installing the canopy here to the bracket, then you need to tuck in the wire in the canopy, like so. And then install. So I want to illustrate to you the difference between a stereo medium and mini. The product side are identical except of course for the size, but in the canopy, there might be a slight difference between the Mini and the Medium. So in my right hand here, this is for the Asteria Mini, and in my left hand, this is for Asteria Medium. It's the exact same shape, 
and size and the diameter. So the only real difference between these two is that the Asteria Mini here on my right has a different power converter uh, in the color and the size and shape than the Asteria Medium on my left hand here, which has a black one. So again, it's important to note that don't worry about these blocks here. The only thing you need to worry about when installing the product is that you only connect the power to this one. The electrical terminals, the white plastic blocks, they always look the same. We've experienced that people accidentally connect the power to this directly without going through this, which will result in a burnt LED panel. So don't do that. And also do not cut the wire here, take in some wire from the heights and use that as a power source. That's also something that will destroy the, the LEDs. So always put the power through this. So that's it for now. Feel free to contact us on info at if you have any further questions and we'll be happy to answer them.